All right guys, today we are in San Diego, California and we are gonna be going to every single GameStop around. Now technically there's only about six GameStops in San Diego itself, but I'm also gonna be going to every single one in the surrounding area. Let's get started at the first one. All right, guys, during the filming of this video, GameStop was having a huge pre-owned sale. If you bought four games that were either $20 or $10 and under, you'd get all of them for 50% off. So that's what I was trying to take advantage of as much as I could. All right, guys, a modest beginning. Ended up getting this Lego Harry Potter 1 through 4 with the movie. Lego Batman, Dark Souls 2 on PS3, and this Endless Ocean game on the Wii. Apparently, this one does really well on Amazon. All of that for 20 bucks. Let's keep moving. All right, guys, before we get to the next one, I'll let you know kind of what my game plan is. There are roughly 20 game stops around this entire area. I have eight hours left before they all start closing. So roughly, I need to hit a minimum of two per hour. The way these first two game stops are laid out, I'm only going to be able to get to two of them within this hour. So I have to really start hitting these game stops hard after this. But I have a good feeling we can still make all of them today. All right, guys, store number two. Let's go get some deals. No, thank you. All right, guys, not the best stop ever, but we still ended up getting some. Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark, Max Payne 3, Lego Avengers, and Hasbro Family Game Night 3. This is actually the best one of all of these, so. But that was the farthest game stop we had to go to today. All the other ones are gonna be much closer to each other. Let's get to it. All right, guys, next up, we got a little older shoebox game stop. These are usually my favorite stores to go to. Let's see what they got. A few good games there, guys, but nothing I can make a deal out of. Again, at these game stops right now, I need to find four games that are quality, that are under $10 or all under 20. Otherwise, it's really not gonna be worth it for me to get a lot of these games. Let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, next location is inside of a mall. I'm never too confident on these, but you never know, we could get lucky. All right, here we go. I thought it would be an indoor mall, but this is interesting. Okay, it took a little bit of searching, but here we are. I haven't seen this much retro stuff in a store in a long time. Let's get searching. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was a lot of great stuff in there, but every single game I checked was missing its manual. And nowadays, if I can't get a game complete in box, I don't bother anymore. So we'll keep moving on. All right, guys, we've had two strikeouts in a row. Let's see if this one can get us lucky. All right, guys, we're starting to get the ball rolling again. For $40, I was able to get Yoshi's Island on the GBA, Army Men Sarge's Heroes on the N64, Monster Hunter Rise, and Sonic Colors. Uh, all these are great pickups for 40 bucks. Let's keep moving. I always underestimate how bad traffic can get in these big cities, even at 2.45 p.m. All right, I would have picked up a lot more at that store, but a lot of their discs were in really bad condition. But there were four that I managed to get that were somewhat good. So I got Family Game Night 3 on PS3 and on Wii. These are great pickups here for less than 10 bucks. Uh, NBA Jam on 360, this one's gonna need a resurfacing, but it should be good after that. And then a really mint condition Guitar Hero 3 on the Wii. Good pickups there, let's keep going. Oh boy, I'm just seeing now that the GameStop we are pulling up to next is in a Westfield Mall. This is just gonna be luck of the draw here. All right, let's see what we got. All right guys, not too bad of pickups for a mall. All right, for $38, we got Injustice on the Vita, Lego Indiana Jones on PS3, Aliens vs. Predator, and Dragon Age 2, this uh, special edition. So, excellent deal there, let's keep going. All right, guys, we have five game stops left. Hopefully we can go five for five. Let's see. Excuse me. Any chance you guys have had anything older in the store than 360 or PS3? 
The power of the ask never fails, guys. I would not have gotten this copy of Transformers War for Cybertron if I had not asked what was behind the counter. So, excellent pickup there. Got that, Rock Band 3, GoldenEye, and Breath of the Wild on the Wii U. All this for 40 bucks. Really can't complain about that. Uh, by obligation of California law, I have to show an in and out in the video. And now we can head to the GameStop. All right, guys, they actually had a lot of great games there, but a lot of them were disc only. In fact, the only four things I managed to get were Sonic Classic Collection on DS, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 on 360, and another copy of Breath of the Wild on the Wii U. So all that for 40 bucks, can't complain. All right, I wasn't expecting to go to this many malls, but here we go. All right, guys, pretty good pickups there. Ended up getting Jurassic, Jurassic the Hunted on PS3. Another Dragon Age 2 Special Edition, whatever this thing is. Warhammer 40K Space Marine. And uh, this one was kind of just to get the deal because uh, it really ain't worth much, but Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Let's move on. All right, guys, we're burning daylight and we got two GameStops left. Let's go head into the penultimate GameStop. All right, guys, good pickups there. Ended up getting WW2K Battlegrounds on the Switch. The Infamous Collection on PS3. Toy Story 3, this one's actually a really great pickup for $10. And then Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, kind of in a disgusting case, but that can be replaced. All that was 40 bucks. But now, we're going to the last GameStop, which I have high hopes for because the employee here was telling me, apparently this is where a bunch of rich people go and trade in their stuff. Uh, so she was saying there's a lot of great retro stuff there. We'll see if she was telling the truth on that. All right guys, last store of the night. I'm hoping we do not end on a strikeout. All right, guys, really not too great of a last pickup. However, they did let me know that GameStop actually has a credit card that provides a lot of benefit to purchases at GameStop, which I've never heard a single employee at any other store ever tell me about. So that's something I got to look into. Regardless of that, I picked up Dead Cells Returns to Castlevania on PS5, Tony Hawk's Project 8, Minecraft on 360, and this Dragon Age Origins Limited Edition. Okay, pickups, not great margins on those, but overall, I'm extremely satisfied with how today went because I was not expecting this many games. <laughs> well, let's go home and uh, take a look at all these. Now, there were a few stores I couldn't show on camera, but we ended up picking up 10 360 games, 22 PS3 games, 4 Wii games, 5 Wii U games, 4 PS4 and 1 PS5 game, 4 Switch games, and a bunch of various other consoles. Overall, I really couldn't be much happier with the haul. I was able to get a ton of great stuff. I ended up spending about $400 for about $1,400 worth of games, so I really can't complain.